Hey guys, this is Mr. Boynton coming at you with another video. Today we're going to talk about how to draw a two-point perspective drawing. Before we get started, we need to go over the three rules of drawing a two-point perspective drawing. The first rule is there is only one horizontal in this picture, only one horizontal line. The second rule is all vertical lines are parallel. The third rule is all diagonal lines go to one of the two vanishing points. So anytime you make a diagonal line, it must shoot one of the two vanishing point targets. All right, so to get started, we're gonna draw our horizon line. You can put the high horizon line a little low or a little high, it's just the viewer's eye level in the picture. I'm gonna go across, I'm gonna make my lines kind of dark, you should do yours light. You're going to need a ruler and a Pencil to do this assignment, if you want to use a mechanical pencil, that would work great. And what we're going to do next is we're going to put the, the corner of our first building in our drawing. Now we want to set up our two vanishing points. We're going to have one on the right and one on the left. They should be at a, basically a 45 degree angle to each other, about the same distance apart. And you can just guess with this. A lot, some people do measure it out when you get really technical, but for our purposes, let's just throw it on. So we're going to label these VP1 and VP2 for vanishing point one and vanishing point two. Now we're going to create like a diamond shape by shooting all the targets. And I'm going to go ahead and draw the whole lines on these first one, but you know, if you can make the lines go where you want them to go, there's no point and drawing them so dark, because you're just going to have to erase them later. In fact, up here on the top, I'm only going to draw them as far as I need them. All right. Do the other side. And continue on. Now you can see that that created kind of a diamond shape, right? Now we want to make the rest of our first building. So we're going to put the ruler at the very top of the paper, the edge of the top, of the ruler at the top of the paper so we get a nice, perfectly straight, parallel vertical. Uh, it's parallel with this one and it will be parallel with this vertical over here because that follows our second rule. All verticals are parallel. All right, and we just do some simple erasing and we've got our first cubic structure that is in two point perspective. Okay, so now we're gonna make another structure that is overlapping behind this one. So we're going to put the edge of it right here. Again, I line it up on the top of the paper, drop it on. All right. Line it up with the vanishing point and put the bottom in. Okay, here's the top. There. Gonna drop down the inside. Here, okay, and I'm gonna drop it this way. Cool, and drop it down. And I got my second building overlapping behind my other building. So you can create a 3D effect by doing that. Again, all of the diagonals are going to the vanishing point. All right, so next thing we want to do is we want to show you what happens when we have something below the vanishing point line. So we're going to make a little box here. Start by making, actually we want to make the edge of the box facing us first. And you can do these lines out of order. Um, you'll notice that I mix them up sometimes. As long as you're cre putting them in the right place, the order of them doesn't matter, as long as they follow the rules. So there's the bottom. Okay, every time I make a line, it's got to follow the rule. It doesn't necessarily ma matter in the order that I put it on the paper. Some kinds of construction will require you to kind of make different lines at different times. There we go. When I get the front and the side of the box here, you will see that it looks kind of like a book. An open book. Let's get that here. Okay, so we got like a kind of a book shape. Now we're going to throw these back to 
the other vanishing point. All right. So a cool way to think about it is like this part of the thing looks like a book. This part is a diamond. All diagonals must shoot one of the targets or it won't work. Let's say we want to make this box like so we can put stuff in there. So let's draw like a little bit of a kitten in here. Here's a little cute kitten in here. And you're like, how can I make that look more 3D? Just put a vertical at the back corner, dropping down and it will become a 3D box there. The kitten's inside. Now we want to look at a box that's above the horizon line. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the edge on first here. Drop it in. Always shooting the target with the diagonals. Okay, that's one side. So it's going to look like an upside down book because it is above the horizon line. We'll talk more about that in just a sec. Here's our book shape. And to make it a box, we've got to make the diamond on the bottom. Or if you're under the horizon line, it would be the top. There we go. Okay. All right, now let's look at this for a sec. So if an object that you're making, a cubic object, is above the horizon line, you can see the bottom. If it is below the horizon line, you can see the top or inside it in this case. If a building is both above and below, then you can't see the top or the bottom. Something to think about. Now let's show you a little bit more of a 3D effect. Let's make this into a garage. I'm just going to drop on some sides here. Okay. go and you're like oh B that's boring it's just a shut garage well let's make that a 3D garage by putting a line here from the corner drawing it back look at that we can park our car in there now our our Corvette won't be out in the rain okay so let's also make some windows too you might have noticed that so if you're making windows on a building, you want to always have them shooting one of the targets. Windows on the right side of a building usually go to VP2. Windows on the um, left side of the building are going to go to VP1. Simple as that. All right. Okay. Uh, words on buildings. Let's talk about that. So when you were in elementary school, they taught you how to write using these lines, worksheets, lined worksheets. Um, you can use the same thing here. As the letters get closer to you, they get bigger uh, because of the spacing. If they get further away, they get crushed down in the spacing. So let's choose an easy word like, let's say, cat. So we'll put C and A's in illegal diagonals, but we'll do it. But the uh, line in the middle of the A is going to be a diagonal because it's going to the vanishing point. There it is. And then your T is going to be going to the diagonal 2 and a vertical that is parallel. And then you will get words that are in perspective. So again, this is two-point perspective drawing. Let's finish it up by making a sidewalk. I'm just going to go to the target there. Go to the target here. Go. How about a whole road? There's a road there. Here's a road here. Let's make this road go this way. Okay, off into oblivion. Let's make this sidewalk have a little bit of a Bit of a bump. So a little secret about YouTube videos is you can click that gear button on the video and then slow this video down if I'm going too fast. You can also rewind it or pause it. All right, so we got a sidewalk in there. What we also want to do is we want to make some individual pieces of concrete. So I'll show you a little quick trick with that. All the pieces of sidewalk need to shoot the target. That's a common problem kids have is that they try to make them like vertical or weird diagonals and it just really screws up. So don't do that. All you need is a diagonal that shoots the target. Get two like this. You can drop them down vertical so they obey the rule of all verticals 
go, uh, all verticals are parallel. To figure out how to make the sidewalk get smaller as you get further away, just take a line and go through about what is the middle of the next piece, and the sidewalk piece will get smaller every time. It's kind of miraculous. So there it is. This one's going to get smaller. It's kind of a cool way to make an optical illusion. And eventually they'll get so small that you won't be able to draw them anymore. There you go. Awesome. So those were your hints on how to do a two-point perspective drawing. Again, if you just follow the rules, you will have an awesome drawing. And the rules are you only have one horizontal in the picture, and that's the horizon line. And then all verticals are parallel in the drawing. And all diagonals must go to one of the two targets. Thanks for tuning in and like and subscribe. See you later. What are you doing today? Are you pretty crazy? Are you my crazy bird? <laughs>